Welcome back, math experts. On this lesson, we're going to learn how to represent decimals using models. We have two models that if they were filled out, there will be one hole on the left side and one hole on the right side. What do you notice about these models? How are they different? If you said that this one on the left side is divided in 100 parts, and the one on the right side is divided only in 10 equal parts, you are 100% right. So now we have zero hundreds and zero tens. Now, what do I have here? I have one hundred, and you write that as a decimal one hundred, and it's one out of one hundred. Do we have one tenth? No, we don't have anything at all. Now, what do we have here? We have two hundred. So we're going to make this plural and you write it in decimal two hundreds and as a fraction is two out of one hundred what's next now we have three hundreds in decimal is 0 0.03 and in fraction is three out of one hundred four hundreds five hundreds six hundreds nine hundreds what do you notice about these two models Yes, they are equivalent. 10 hundreds, 10 out of 100, is equivalent to 1 out of 10. Even though they are equivalent in size, the models are different. So this is 10 out of 100, and this is 1 out of 10. Let's move on. I'm going to go a little bit faster. 13 hundreds, 18 hundreds. Here on the left side, we have 20 hundreds, 20 out of 100, and on the right side, they are equivalent. We have two tens, you write it 0 0.2, and it is two out of 10, 28 hundreds. On the left side, we have the same 28 that we had before, and I added 10. Even though they're not together, if you add 28 plus 10, that would be 38 hundreds. 0.38, 38 out of 100, and on the right side, we only have enough for three tenths. 0 0.3, 3 out of 10 as a fraction. On the left side, we have 50 hundreds, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 hundreds, which is 0 0.50, and if you think about it, this is half of the whole, because 50 is half of 100. And on the right side, we have one, two, three, four, five, five out of ten, five tens, and five is also half of ten. On the left model, we have now 76 hundreds, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76. And also, I know that this is six because six plus four equals ten, so visually, it's easy for me to know that this is six. But if you cannot see it that yet, then just count one by one. And on the right side, I have seven out of 10. Seven are shaded, which means that it's seven tenths, 0 0.7, and numerator seven, denominator 10 as a fraction. We're almost done filling out the holes. And on the left side, we have 97 hundreds. It's very easy to identify that because we only have three more left to get to one complete hole. And on the right side, we have nine tenths. You don't even need to count them because you know that nine plus one is 10 tenths. And to finish, we have 100 hundreds, which is one whole, which is 100, numerator 100, denominator 100. And you know that if the numerator and the denominator are the same, that means it is a whole. On the right side of this model with the tenths, we have 10 tenths equals to 1.0 and 10 numerator denominator 10. Remember, if the numerator and the denominator are equal, that means that is a complete whole. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to like, subscribe, and share this video with other teachers, parents, and students that need ideas for the lessons. See you in my next video. Bye!